earlier in the show, we were talking about the chances for some rain. This is what isolated showers look like. One or two areas of some development, nothing widespread. You're not seeing a whole lot of severity with it. In fact, the areas in towards Coleman County have started to kind of begin to weaken, collapsing, as well as some storms kind of developing off towards the north, up in towards Abilene. Again, that closer look, They're seeing that activity in towards Coleman County and to OH Ivy starting to kind of fizzle out and still hanging on to some of those showers that's just been off towards the south and west of us here in San Angelo. Kind of moving in towards Erie and County. Not a whole lot of uh, activity with it, but it's still just like a little bit of bubbling uh, showers and storms out there. Uh, likely to kind of lose that daytime heating here in the next couple of hours. So we'll see most of the storm activity begin to kind of fizzle out as we go through the next several hours. Again, could still see one or two showers, but past sunset, you see how it really clears out. We'll be looking at mostly clear skies through the overnight hour. And then they'll play this pattern out again for tomorrow, though a little bit more isolated in nature. We saw those clear skies as we started out today. That's what tomorrow's going to look like as well. Mostly clear skies by the lunchtime. You start to see those cumulus clouds popping up. Could see one or two of those showers kind of develop into dropping a bit of rain. And then that settles down as we get in towards the evening hours. So still hanging into the better chances for the eastern parts of the Concho Valley. But I think just about a 10% chance of one or two stray showers for tomorrow. Very similar to what we saw today. Clear skies, clouds started bubbling up around noon. One or two showers just off towards the south. Then that energy kind of pushed us off towards the southwestern parts of uh, the, out towards Erie and County rather. And still hanging on to some of those lingering clouds as we look off towards the south. It did cool us off a bit. Pulled those temperatures back down into the 80s right now though. Climbing it back into the 90s. Those dew points into the mid 60s and winds fairly light out of the east, uh, southeast at three miles per hour. Last night dropped down into the 70s. Then we saw the warm up. That's where we started to see those showers kind of push through. A little bit of a cool down back down into the 80s. We're still seeing some 80s out in towards Coleman where they've seen the majority of the rain activity. Everyone else looking at those temperatures into those low 90s. As we continue into the evening hours, we'll see those decreasing rain chances. The temperatures dropping down into the mid 70s. And again, tomorrow, stray shower. Certainly possible. Temperatures pushing up into the upper 90s with those partly cloudy skies. For your firework forecast, though, if you are headed out, good news is those rain showers are really going to start to diminish. So, should it have any impact for firing off your own fireworks or if you're headed out to late to kind of take in some viewing. Though, temperatures still going to be into those 90s and 80s, a little bit on the warmer side. Again, uh, maybe grab, grab a quick water bottle so you're staying hydrated and not getting uh, beaten up by this heat. As we go in towards the rest of the week, we'll see most of the activity stay off towards the eastern part of the state, so we'll still stay hang on to some very isolated rain chances, but unfortunately the high pressure is going to be making its return. That moves in over the state of Texas as we get in towards the weekend. Breezy conditions and then back to those triple digits, 105 as we get in towards the beginning of next week.